What is up everybody? Welcome back. We are going to do a few problems today. We are going to test for solutions for linear equations. So I've got a couple problems with a couple uh, linear equations written in standard form. Our task is to test to see if the given points are solutions to this equation. And the way we can do that is just doing some substitution. Now if these work out, these points actually appear on that line. And this is useful for when we get into uh, linear systems, right? We want to know which points make multiple systems, multiple equations true. All right, so let's just dive right in. The first question is, select all of the ordered pairs, x, y, that are solutions to the linear equation 2x plus 3y equals 6. Okay, my way for substituting values and really checking to see if these equations are true or not in this case is to go ahead and drop in our values x and y and see if they equal 6 in this problem. So just write out the problem. And if the stuff on the left equals the stuff on the right, then you have a solution to your linear equation with two variables. All right, so the technique here is to do this. Do you see the x and y values? I'm going to get rid of those, and I'm going to drop in a set of parentheses because when you have a coefficient and a variable next to each other, it just means that you're multiplying that variable by whatever the number is before it. So this is 2 times x plus 3 times y is going to equal 6. All right, now let's go to our choices over here. This first one right here, we have 0, 2. Now 0 is the x value because it comes first in the ordered pair. The ordered pair, of course, is going to be in order, and x is going to come first, and y is going to come second. So we are going to drop in 0 and 2 for our x and y values. Now go ahead and evaluate this, and we want to see if this is equal to 6. Well, 2 times 0 is 0, 3 times 2 is 6. Does this equal 6? And of course, 6 does equal 6. So this very first one is a solution. It is a line on the linear equation. So notice I'm not doing anything to the linear equation written in standard form here. I'm just erasing the values. We're going to just drop in new values each time to test them out. If you're doing this on paper, obviously you would just write the equation again. I guess you can erase it all, but um, the, the point here is just to drop them in there and check. So 2 times 0 for the second one, uh, the y for the second one, the x value is 0. The y value here is 6. Drop those in and evaluate them. 3 times 6 is 18. Does that equal 6? 18, of course, does not equal 6. If it's not true, then you don't have a solution. So get rid of that one. That one's not going to work. All right, moving on. C. So we're going to drop in a 2 for x and a 3 for y. Evaluate. 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3 is 9. Does that equal 6? Of course, 13 does not equal 6. Pay attention to my equal signs. I'm keeping them all in a row. I'm not really messing with anything. I'm keeping the 6 on the right side. I'm keeping the rest of those expressions on the left side on the left side. And we just want to see if the left side equals the right side. We have a solution to our equation. All right, let's try the next one. x value is 3 and our y value is negative 2. So 3, negative 2. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Does that equal 6? Well, of course, 0 does not equal 6. So D is not going to work either. 3 and 0. 3, of course, is the x value. 0 is the y value. Multiply these out to get 6 plus 0. 0 plus 6. Does that equal 6? Well, it does equal 6. All right, so we have two values here that are solutions to this linear equation. These are points that will appear on the line if you graph this out. Okay, and finally, we're going to check 6 and negative 2. And 2 times 6 is 12 plus 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, question mark, does 6 equal 6? 
and I think we have another match. All right, so in this situation, we have A, E, and F. We have three solutions here to this linear equation. Now, there is an infinite amount of solutions to this equation. Just the ones that were given here, we're just checking to see if those are solutions to this linear equation. All right, sweet. So one down, one to go. I've got one more problem just like this. Let's jump right into it. All right, this next problem. Select all the given points in the coordinate plane that lie on the graph of the linear equation 4x minus y equals 3. All right, so the same deal. We just have an x and a y value. We want to substitute those into the equation, see if it makes the equation true. And then we have a solution to our very, um, we have a solution to our equation in two variables. We're going to start the same way. 4x minus y equals 3, question mark. Now I'm going to get rid of the x and y, and I'm going to drop in some parentheses. From there, we're going to go to our options, and we're going to just drop those in, see which ones make this true. So the first one has negative 1 for our x value and negative 7 for our y value. Go ahead and evaluate these. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Minus a negative 7 is the same as adding a positive 7. Does that equal 3? The first one is a success. The first one works out just fine. The first one is going to work for our situation. Good. We found a couple values that make this true. Let's go on to B, 0 and 3. Drop those in there, 0 and 3. Evaluate the 4 times 0 is 0. Minus 3, does that question mark equal 3? I don't think it does. If you have 3 and you subtract it from 0, you're going to end up with negative 3. In this case, this is not equal. B is not going to work. For the next one, 3 quarters is our x value. 0 is our y value. Let's take a look at what we have to do here. We have to do some fancy fraction multiplication. And if you see the numerator and denominator both have a 4, you can cancel those out. And you end up with 3 minus 0. Does that equal 3? Indeed, indeed it does. Uh, we have another match. C is an, another match in this case. All right, moving right along. This is great. Hey, we're doing great here. I hope you're getting the hang of this. Go ahead and, um, you know, follow along with me. Do some practice here. We're just dropping in our ones here. Four times one is four minus one. Does that equal three? Well, indeed, four minus one is three, and three does equal three. We have another match. We have another solution to our linear equation. We have another point that will appear on the line. The next one, e, we have 2 for our x value, 5 for our y value. 2 times 4 is 8, minus 5. Does that equal 3? 3 indeed does equal 3. We have another match. Will we have another one? All right, this last one, we just have to check to see if it's a match. Our x value is 4. Our y value is negative 1. 4 times 4 is 16 plus a positive one. No, that does not equal three at all, not even close. And, you know, I think this one is kind of like a little trick. If you had the order wrong, if you put the negative one, actually, no, I don't think it's gonna work any, any way, any way you do it. So this one, F is not gonna work. All right, pretty cool. So that's all there is to it. When you have a linear equation with two variables and you want to drop in and check to see if some of these ordered pairs are solutions to that linear equation, go ahead and substitute those values out, drop those in there for x and y, solve it, and if it makes the equation true, then you have a solution to your linear equation in two variables. All right, thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it. Guys, go ahead and click up here if you want to do more linear equation stuff. Go ahead and click over here if you want to go down a different rabbit hole. But either way, I appreciate you guys subscribing. I appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you next time.